Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade or update your drivers using the NVIDIA app. If you're not familiar with the NVIDIA app, it used to be known as the GeForce Experience. It's the app that goes with your NVIDIA graphics card on top of the settings that you can open up and tweak specifically for NVIDIA inside of your Windows system. Now, this is a nice app because it lets you do a couple of things. A, like I said before, it lets you check for driver updates, which I have one pending to make the Veil Guard quit crashing on me. It'll also allow you to optimize the graphic settings for every different program that is relevant on your system by just clicking on it and you can tweak all of the settings for it right here directly through NVIDIA to try to make it run better. Uh, and more optimized without actually having to launch the game first. You can also see what's going on on your system, tweak performance settings to either overvolt or undervolt your PC, graphics card, tweak your display settings for each one of your monitors, and also what sort of uh, super sampling or super resolution stuff you may or may not have currently enabled. And you can also redeem uh, credits in here with the coupon code to download stuff through NVIDIA as well, although I've never actually done that. And then there's some other system settings in here that allow you to do things like enable the built-in recorder that will allow you to use an NVIDIA overlay while you play your games and record whatever's going on on your screen. But what we want today is the driver settings. When you've got this installed, it'll pop up occasionally like, hey, we've detected there's a new driver update. You might want to, you know, install that. Uh, just note that if you're like me and you're also a video editor, this will affect your uh, video editors as well because they're usually hardware accelerated, which requires your graphics card. So it's a good idea to close those before you get started, which I actually have a couple open, so I'm going to go ahead and close mine. And then with that in mind, um, it's a good idea not to have anything like important running. Like if you're trying to watch a Netflix video, when you download and update your graphics driver, it's gonna make the video player freak out and crash. Uh, if you're playing a game, it's probably either gonna ask you to close it or it's gonna crash, that sort of thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm probably gonna have to edit this in a really funny way to illustrate what's going on. But the first thing it wants you to do is download the update. These updates usually range in size from 500 to 800 megabytes. Once in a blue moon, they get up into the gig size, but that's only usually if like you haven't updated in a while and there's a lot of stuff that's missing. So it'll really just depend. So now that it's downloaded, I can install it. It's usually a pretty quick process, although it will flicker on and off your... When I click install, the first thing that happens is it'll black out the screen for you, but it's asking me for administrator permissions from NVIDIA to install the update, I'll say yes. And then after that, it'll ask me if I want to do a custom installation or if I want to do an express installation. Generally, I just install everything it wants me to install. Uh, express installation lets you pick and choose the stuff that you want to install, including like, do you want the PhysX system software? Do you want the HD audio driver? Or alternatively, if you think there's something wrong with your computer's settings, if there's something wrong with your graphics card settings, you can click clean install and that'll reinstall the whole thing from scratch and then reset all your settings to default just in case you accidentally broke something while you were playing around with settings. But I don't need to do that, so I'm just gonna do the express installation and click continue. All right, so it's done. Um, the only thing that's noticeable is my screen briefly flickered for a moment and all of my windows shifted from being some of them in my second monitor and some of them in my primary monitor to all of them shoved into my primary monitor, which is slightly annoying. But other than that, um, it just pops up a little screen that tells you, hey, this is the version you have installed and all of that good stuff. So if we click close, uh, looks like that we're up to date, but if I'm not sure, uh, now that that's closed, it says that we're all up to date. Uh, I have the option to reinstall my drivers if something's being weird, because it wouldn't be the first time that like power is flickered when you're installing something, 
or some hiccup happened, if you need to, you can click reinstall. It's the same process. Um, and then if you're not sure if you've got an update available or not, you can click on this little refresh and check for updates and it'll tell you if you're missing anything. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been how you update drivers using the NVIDIA app. I really like it. It's super convenient. Um, and on that note, I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.